Welcome to Animal Stories for Kids. If you like our stories, please give us a five-star rating, subscribe to our podcast, and share it with your friends and family. If you're listening on Spotify, you can support the podcast through listener support. Plus, check out exclusive show-related content and join the community at patreon.com slash animal stories for kids. And now, it's time for our story. Once upon a time, there was an Amazon river dolphin named Potira. Potira the Amazon river dolphin lived in a large river that ran through a huge rainforest. She was a baby calf and loved to play and explore around the river. Every day, she would swim calmly around the winding waterways, discovering all sorts of fascinating things along the riverbanks. Her mother often warned her to be cautious and not to poke her head into things that seemed strange because she was so young. But Potira's curiosity always got the better of her. On one sunny day, as Potira the Amazon River Dolphin was swimming through the water, she spotted something strange near a muddy riverbank. Her eyes widened with curiosity, and she swam closer to investigate. I wonder what that is, Potira the Amazon River Dolphin said to herself. When she got closer, she saw that it was an old, tangled fishing net, washed away and forgotten. Pochita thought it looked interesting, and in her eagerness to explore, she started to mess around with the net. Pochita the Amazon River Dolphin said to herself, Maybe there's something inside of this net that's all bunched up in here. Let's see. So she started poking around the net and checking to see if there was something hidden in it. But then she got herself caught in the net. She started twisting and pulling, and she even hurt her right fin a little bit by some rocks and pulling and being tangled by the net. And the more she struggled, the more tangled she became. Pochita cried for help, but she was stuck in a hidden muddy part of the river where it was hard to see or hear her. Help, I'm stuck, she said out loud, and she waited for what felt like forever, calling out to her mother, or anyone who might come to her rescue. A whole day passed, and Potita the Amazon River Dolphin began to feel sad and alone. And just when Potita was starting to lose hope, she saw a little human girl walking along the riverbank. The girl was collecting colorful stones along the edge of the river when she spotted one of Potita the Amazon River Dolphin's fin sticking out of the water, covered in a net. The little girl's eyes widened in shock and excitement when she saw the cute dolphin trapped in the net. Oh no, poor dolphin, the little girl said. She ran to the edge of the water and tried to pull the net off Pochita the Amazon River Dolphin, but it was too heavy and tangled. Don't worry, I'll get help, the girl said to Pochita. The little girl hurried back to her home and found her grandmother. Together, they returned to the river with a pair of sharp scissors. The little girl's grandmother carefully cut through the net, freeing Potira the Amazon River Dolphin from its grasp. They pulled the net onto land, tied it up, and rolled it away so it couldn't hurt any more animals. Potira the Amazon River Dolphin was now free, but her right fin was cut a little and sore from rubbing against the rocks and being tangled up by the net as she was trying to get loose. And so she couldn't swim very well and she felt safer staying around the muddy riverbank. So she did, even though she knew her mother would be upset. She wanted to make sure she could swim well before she left the area. But it wasn't too bad because the little girl would visit Pochita every day, spending time with her and talking about everything that was on her mind. The little girl would also bring small fish that she caught with her fishing pole every day to feed the dolphin. And the little girl would reach out and pet Pochita and sing songs to her to make her feel better. The two formed a special bond. And every day, Pochita the Amazon River Dolphin looked forward to the little girl's visits as her fin was healing. Eventually, 
Pochita's mother came by and found her. Pochita's mother was so relieved when she saw that Pochita the Amazon River Dolphin was okay. Pochita told her mother all about the little girl and how she helped her and took care of her while she was healing. And so Pochita left with her mother, but she would always come back to the same riverbank to meet with the little girl every day while her mother would watch from afar. As the months turned into years, the little girl and Pochita grew up together. Pochita's skin turned from gray to a beautiful shade of pink, as Amazon river dolphins often do as they mature. The little girl, too, grew older and eventually left for her university to pursue her career. Pochita the Amazon river dolphin continued to swim in the river, but she never forgot her dear friend. She often swam by the riverbank where she had been rescued, hoping to see the girl again. She wondered if the girl was happy and was living a good life. Years passed, and one day, Pochita noticed something familiar on the riverbank. It was a woman who looked a lot like the little girl from many years back, but older. Pochita the Amazon River Dolphin said to herself, Could it really be her? No, it can't be. It's been years. And how can she even remember me? The woman was holding a small child by the hand and pointing excitedly at the river. Then, all of a sudden, the child gripped her mother's hand tightly while jumping. Mommy, look! A pink dolphin! The child shouted in excitement. Pochita the Amazon River Dolphin's heart leaped with joy, and she said to herself, It is her, but older now, and that must be her child. But how did she come back? How did she know where I would be? Where has she been this whole time? Pochita swam closer, and the woman with her child also got closer. When they both got close enough to each other, they realized who each were. The woman's eyes filled with tears of happiness as she recognized her old friend. Oh my goodness, it's really you, she called out waving. Pochita the Amazon River Dolphin said to the woman, I can't believe it's really you too. I missed you so much, my friend. Pochita chirped and clicked excitedly, leaping out of the water. The woman and her child watched in awe as the beautiful pink dolphin danced in the water, waving at them excitedly. The woman then introduced her child to Pochita the Amazon River Dolphin, sharing with her child the story of how they became friends years ago. The child listened with wide eyes, fascinated by all the stories. The woman then reached out to gently touch Pochita's smooth skin, just as she had done when she was a little girl. I'm so happy to see you again, she whispered. You are so beautiful, and I can sense that you remember me. Pochita the Amazon River Dolphin felt the same way. She had missed the little girl, who was now a woman and was overjoyed to see her living a happy life with her own family. The two friends, with the child, spent the afternoon together. The woman caught some fish like the old days and fed Pochita, and Pochita the Amazon River Dolphin swam around and enjoyed the presence of the woman and her child. The woman would talk out loud to Pochita about all the fun times they had growing up as her child was enjoying the company of the Amazon River Dolphin. The woman told Pochita about her whole life after she went away to the university and met her husband and had a baby. Pochita the Amazon River Dolphin just hung out there in the water and listened and enjoyed every moment. As the sun began to set, the woman and Pochita knew it was time to go. She hugged Pochita one last time and promised to visit again soon. 
Take care, my dear friend, the woman said with a smile, slowly walking away backwards. And so, Pochita and the woman parted ways, happier than ever, because they had been able to reunite and share their special bond once more. From that day on, Pochita the Amazon River Dolphin often returned to the riverbank every now and then, hoping for another visit from the woman and her family. But even if she didn't see her, she knew that they were both thinking of each other. And Pochita the Amazon River Dolphin continued to explore the river, carrying their friendship and memories forever. And the Amazon River Dolphin lived happily ever after. The End The Amazon River Dolphin is also known as Boto or the Pink River Dolphin and is a species of toothed whale that's native to South America. It is the largest species of river dolphin. And as adults, they become a pink color that's more prominent in males. And this is what gives them the nickname Pink River Dolphin. And they are native to the Amazon and Orinoco Basin. Amazon river dolphins can grow up to eight feet long and they can weigh up to 450 pounds. They have a long beak-like snout and their forehead is rounded and prominent. They have a hump instead of a dorsal fin and large paddle-like pectoral fins. Their eyes are small, but they have good eyesight so they could see well in murky waters. Their front teeth are conical and helps them to grab their prey, and their back teeth are molar-like for chewing. Amazon river dolphins are born gray-colored and they turn pink as they get older. Some of the reasons could be because their skin can become more pink with more sun exposure, or that they have blood vessels that are closer to the skin surface, and as they get older, it can be seen more, or that the pink color is more of a scar tissue. Some say the scar tissue can come from rough playing with other dolphins, or fighting with other bigger creatures, or simply from rubbing and getting scratched and scraped from rocks. Amazon river dolphins eat fish, crabs, and small turtles. Amazon river dolphins are often seen alone or in small groups. Amazon river dolphins, as other dolphins, use sound waves and echolocation to find food and to navigate themselves in the water. Amazon river dolphins have a neck vertebrae that is not fused. That allows them to turn their heads 90 degrees. Amazon river dolphins have a legend that says that they can turn into humans at night and interact with people on land. Amazon river dolphins are an endangered species and they face threats from habitat loss, pollution, and fishing nets from poachers. The Amazon river dolphin can be found throughout the river systems in South America, especially in countries like Brazil, Bolivia, Colombia, Ecuador, Guyana, Peru, and Venezuela. The Amazon River Dolphin has a brain that's 40% larger than a human's. Amazon River Dolphins are known to blush and get bright pink when they become excited. Have you seen a real-life Amazon River Dolphin before? If you have, where did you see it? If you want to write to us, ask your parent to email us at animalstoriesforkids at gmail.com and tell us what you think of our stories. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for listening to Animal Stories for Kids. If you like our stories, please give us a five-star rating, subscribe to our podcast, and share it with your friends and family. If you're listening on Spotify, you can support the podcast through listener support. Plus, check out exclusive show-related content and join the community at patreon.com slash animalstoriesforkids. Until next time, bye!